Part 4 of the Essex Way begins in the small village of Great Waltham and follows 12 miles of lovely rural countryside through the Langley's estate and numerous picturesque villages including Little Lees, Fuller Street and Turling before arriving in the village of White Notley which has an excellent train link to nearby Braintree and Whitham for an overnight stay. Great Waltham is a lovely small village just north of Chelmsford and has excellent public transport links into the city. In the centre of the village is the lovely Grade 1 listed church which dates back to the Norman period and close by is the stunning timber framed house called Bollingtons which dates to the late 16th century and possibly used as a guild hall at that time. The Essex Way lies just to the north of the village and enters the vast Langley's estate. After following the driveway past a derelict pillbox, the house is reached, which dates to the 18th century, but incorporates an older house dating to the early 17th century. Just beyond the house the route crosses the River Chelmer with the lovely sound of falling water over a weir just by the bridge. The first signs of civilization beyond Great Waltham is the tiny village of Chatham Green with its lovely village pub just off the trail. But it's not long before the village is left and progress is made into Little Lees.
Little Lee's church is dedicated to St John the Evangelist and dates to the early 12th century and is passed just before entering the village. An underpass along the River Tur means crossing the busy A130 can be avoided, but it also allows for a chance to see dragonflies and water birds at certain times of the year. A short detour into the village of Great Lees will lead to the village pub and shop for refreshments if needed. Fuller Street is the next village encountered, complete with a lovely pub alongside the trail and the perfect place to stop for some lunch before continuing on to White Notley.
It's not long until the villages of Flax Green and Turling are reached, with several interesting features. Flax Green Mill sits just 100 metres off the trail and dates to the 19th century. This is one of only two windmills seen along the entire 82 mile long walk. Another lovely spot is the Ford, which is now unsuitable for motor vehicles, but a haven for wildlife and a tranquil spot for a picnic or a place to eat some packed lunch. The last village encountered before White Notley is Fairstead, made up of just a few dozen houses and a stunning spired church. The church is dedicated to St Mary the Virgin and dates to the late 11th century, incorporating ancient Roman bricks within the walls, indicating the area has been settled on for thousands of years.
White Notley is finally reached after crossing the River Brain, with a lovely village pub offering a good selection of meals, but more importantly, a train station providing regular links into Braintree and Whittam for an overnight stay.